Good evening and welcome to another week of In the Spotlight. I am your host, Tabitha, shining the light on nonprofit organizations uh, on my second season of the show. And thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. This evening, we have Ripe Lemon Investments, uh, a nonprofit organization that is CEO by Ms. Tristan Huffins. Can I say that right? Okay. And she is going to tell us a little bit about um, being an entrepreneur, having her own business. Who is Right Lemon Investments and, uh, and what do they do? And she's going to kind of give us a little background. So take it away. Thank you so much for having me today or this evening. Uh, I am an attorney. I serve clients in both North Carolina and South Carolina. So by day, I really work um, for my law firm, I do estate planning and business law, but on the back end of things, um, certainly not less important, uh, we founded an organization called Ripe Lemon Investments, and I have a wonderful team that is extremely talented, and our mission is to provide free legal marketing and business uh, support to launching entrepreneurs, people who haven't started their business but need extra support. And so this is a really personal mission uh, for all of us. I have a, a great team. Some, some of them are marketing backgrounds with marketing director. We have two attorneys, myself included, um, and then additional business uh, specialties that are all on the board that work together to, to assist clients that come in. Um, but this mission really collaborated because so many of us really loved volunteering and we knew that we wanted to give back to our community. So we have been on so many different volunteers with the homeless or with a battered women's shelter. And no matter how much money we raised, unfortunately, homelessness continued to rise or mm -hmm. battered women just didn't feel confident to leave the situation because of economic reasons. Um, and just countless other situations that one thing we started to see was that economic empowerment is, is the game changer. That's mm -hmm. if we can find a way to help people take control of their own economic abilities, then they might be able to make different choices. They might be able to have a different future. And so we really put our heads together and decided uh, to create Ripe Lemon Investments. We felt like that was the way to bolster uh, low-income uh, communities, people that have uh, truly been overlooked and, and left out of this conversation for a business ownership for so long. So we really focus on minorities and we focus on um, people who have had a prison uh, in the past. So we reach out to prison rehabilitation because as you can know and, and assume, it's very hard to gain employment after prison. And so bad habits are hard to, to get rid of when you don't have economic ability to do anything new. Um, and so we definitely wanted to capture all these different avenues and all these different people who had so much talent. It's not a lack of talent. It's not a lack of effort or willingness. There's just a lack of direction and adding some knowledge of how to do things. Not everybody has an uncle who's owned a business. Not everybody has, you know, a neighbor who has a kid who is, who's an attorney. Not everybody has that network that I think it's kind of downplayed um, for some people who are born into that. Uh, you really don't understand what the resource and the value of that is that you just naturally have at your fingertips. Um, so we wanted to, to try and add that, to make that a natural resource for people who needed it. And we know not everybody's meant to be an entrepreneur, um, that it's not gonna be reasonable to assume every community member wants to be uh, a, a business owner. However, I do believe that, for example, for you know someone who has a past in prison and they become an entrepreneur, when someone else has a past and they apply as an employee, they are far less likely to simply strike them off and ignore them because they can see ripe lemons the way we do. We've been able to coach them and educate them. And so they can give an opportunity to another community member as an employee now that we've bolstered employers that really understand how to help and lift people up. And so that's that's really our mission is to just try and get some economic empowerment into the hands of people that I think are talented enough to do it. They just need the right network and knowledge and, and just a good foundation to, to launch into something great. 
Um, and, and I have to say, I am beside myself so full. It's so amazing that you all are doing this. And, and me, myself, you know, um, it, you are so right. You, you hit the nail on the head. There are so many things that even myself, you know, would love to do for the community, which is the reason why I'm on WYTV7, uh, because we are a nonprofit organization trying to get the word out to the community, trying to share and share and share resources and putting those tools in the hands of the community and the audience locally and globally so, so people can set themselves up for success, right? So you are so right because even the entrepreneurial dreams and goals and aspirations that I have, it is all about that dollar. It is, and coming from working a nine to five in the, you know, in that government sector, um, you know, we, 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 get, we don't get paid like corporate America, right? right. <laughs> we work for the state, the city, the county, whatever, you know, we don't get paid like corporate America does. So it, it's, it's a struggle to do everything that you want to do in your wheelhouse because of funds and lack of the, the lack of, right? So um, I commend uh, Ray Blemen Investments because I am so glad that you guys had the goals and the heart to do this because you're just going to help so many people. And I'm um, very honored to have you on. And I'm going to make sure this show gets liked and liked and liked and you share and we share. And that's how everyone will be able to put to get the power in, in their hands and, and reach their goals. So um, how long have you guys been around? So we're very new. We just mm -hmm. celebrated our one year anniversary. Oh, um, okay. mm -hmm. And we have, you know, we've teamed up with organi organizations like um, WYTV7 and, and additional uh, banks in the area that are interested and in also connecting us with the right clients. So to kind of get into specifics a little bit so people can imagine what our services are like. Uh, for the legal, for example, someone might come in and say, I need help um, drafting a waiver. Uh, so because I'm going to run a, a fitness group and I'm going to have a meet at a park and I, I need a waiver for them to participate. That's something we can help with. Or it might be I'm preparing to lease this space. Can you review this document for me? Is this a smart contract for me? I don't know what a rent roll is. I, could you look at it? Um, and that's something we can help so that they're not binding themselves into situations that aren't going to be financially savvy for them in the long run. We don't want them to be taken advantage of simply because they're super excited. They got their bank loan and, and we want to be smart with how they use it. Um, we do not invest in the sense of money to any of the mm -hmm. Uh, entrepreneurs. So I do want to make that very clear. There's no um, angel investments or anything attached with us. One thing that we do try to help is that we can coach how to get investments. So for the business side, for example, we have an excellent business person who's able to build a business plan with the entrepreneur so they can present it to the bank for a loan or to potential right. investors. And mm -hmm. having that clapped out for them can really, really help because I think that there's a huge blockade between the ability to actually provide excellent service or an excellent product and then all this red tape and legalese that comes with getting from point A to point B. And so we're we're really here to try and help. How can we do smart marketing that is affordable to even free and be very strategic about it in your area and coach in that space? And then also, how do we get you all the way across um, the finish line to actually opening day? So it, all of our ripe lemons do have to have some level of their own uh, financial ability or, or financial stability to launch, but there's so many businesses that are able to be very affordable because the internet and online businesses has skyrocketed. There's so yes. many uh, potential that you could be a business owner and it not have to be hundreds of thousands of dollars of an investment. It, it's not always the case for, you know, depending on what business you're trying to start. And so just talking with business owners or, um, people that are hoping to be a business owner, that's a big part of our initial consult is trying to get some realistic ideas on the table. And then what are the goals and steps that we can help provide um, to get them there? And so our services are totally free. Um, we provide all of those legal documents for free. We'll coach them on how to get state registered. 
Um, we can even walk them through the process. We just don't pay for the registration. Yeah. Um, so that they'll have to do the $100 registration or whatever the fee is. Those type of things are on the entrepreneur to launch themselves. Um, but we're here as the, the background and the coaches and the cheerleaders for them to really make sure they make some good sound decisions because the first year of business life is that's what makes or breaks you so often. And so getting them on the right foot gives them such a better chance to be around five years from now. And that's what we want. We want them to be able to last. So, And, and that's half the battle, the business plan. And for, you know, the business plan is half the battle and yeah. just having that direction because the first thing somebody's going to say is I have this dream, I have this goal and this vision, you know, but I don't even know how to get started, you know, right. so just being able to put those tools in their hand is, um, you know, golden. Uh, we are going to break for a commercial at this time, but when we get back, um, we are going to come back to write Lemon Investments so uh, we can share with our audience on how they can get signed up. Um, what, uh, again, all the services that are offered, and we're going to make sure we put all of the social media information out there and handles so you can get these tools into your hand. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after these commercial messages. Happy is an intentional and lifelong journey, but it's hard to change and grow towards higher levels of happy without knowing where you're starting from. Our happy quiz puts a starting pin on the map to your happy living and provides additional guidance and motivation along the way. Just go to happyliving.com and take the happy quiz to get started on your road to happy. And we are back after our commercial. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with us. This evening, we have Ripe Lemon Investments with us, uh, and they are a nonprofit organization servicing North and South Carolina. We are going to share with our studio audience um, a little bit that they do and how we can put this information and tools in your hand to be successful and launch your own dream of having your nonprofit organization or whatever for-profit business. Um, and that's the question that I have for you. Tristan, do you do just, do you do a little bit of everything? And if you could just circle back really quick on um, what you all do and let our studio audience know how they can get involved. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we really focus on for-profit. We want to do a, a level of economic empowerment, um, but we have definitely served and supported a nonprofit uh, mm -hmm. entrepreneurs that are hoping to do more of a, a social panure kind of concept. And so we've, we are happy to work with them as well. Um, a lot of our services, like we've discussed, are legal, uh, marketing, and business. And so it's a lot of coaching and education. But the thing that makes us different than what you might find in other organizations that do this is that it is specific one-on-one -on -one support. Um, when I would go through classes, it would be very generic information and the entrepreneurs would leave excited, but not still not really sure how to put that into action for their specific business. And so I'm very proud um, of my team for being able to carve out time because we all have full time jobs. So this is no one makes money off of this at all. Mm -hmm. um, we are very dedicated to do this as a as a pro bono project for ourselves and for our community, because um, we do believe that it's needed. And I, I think that it'll make a big impact as it grows and, and can help people. And how can someone um, get in contact with you all to, to get signed up for that um, first step plan of action? So we have an initial consult that we take all of our clients through. They can either just email us at office at ripelemoninvestments.org or they can uh, research us on our website, ripelemoninvestments.org, and there'll be an intake form. Uh, we also have a Facebook page they could find us on, and it also has a scheduling feature. Uh, and again, that's Ripe Lemon Investments. And then our handle for all of our social media is at Ripe Lemon Invest. And I, I am known for making sure that the audience understands where we're coming from. I usually look at them and I say, audience. 
we have been waiting for something like this uh, for profit, nonprofit organizations. Um, you you can go to you go to community colleges like you said, and you sit in classes to try to teach you how to set up your business plan and your business structure. And just like you said, you walk away um, excited but yet still confused on what to do because it wasn't uh, specifically dedicated to you and what you're trying to do. So audience, <laughs> in the spotlight viewers, <laughs> this is an opportunity for you to be able to go to the website, set up your consultation and be catered to, directly to you and for you and help you understand what you need to do for yourself. And um, so I just wanted to make sure that I put that out there so they can understand. Um, so there's no misconception there. So uh, if I go on the website and I sign up for the consultation, um, what's what's my next step? I guess what I'm saying is um, after, let me fast forward. Let me take that back. After we get through the consultation and we're, I'm sharing my business plan, am I getting direction for, okay, now that we have this set up, our structure, um, are we getting direction on how to find grants and loans and, and how to put the whole package together? I want to make sure. Yes. So each meeting that we have, and there will always be more than one, the first okay. meeting kind of lets us know uh, if it's going to work. And so that kind of lets the entrepreneur okay. know a timeline. That's a big thing that we try to identify is how soon do you want to launch? Do you want to launch in six months? Do you want to launch in six weeks? What's, what's realistic for the goals that you've already accomplished? Because some come to us with quite a bit done and they okay. just need a little bit extra and some haven't started at all. They're just completely um, from scratch. And so either is fine. But we take time to try and figure out a timetable for a realistic launch of that organization, of the business or the nonprofit, and what would be needed to get done between point A and point B. And so there's always a homework checklist that we send our entrepreneurs with because um, we're very passionate that while we are going to work and work hard for you, we absolutely assume that you're going to work even harder because it's your business. Mm -hmm. um, so we have homework that we send down that's very clear so that they can go and accomplish it. It might be something like uh, registering your, your nonprofit on the state registry, this is how, and these are the steps. Or it might be um, something like go and talk to five different uh, banks and present the business plan that we have provided for you and set up, you know, go ahead and call and set up those meetings. Those type of steps we coach them through just depending on the meeting that we're having. So I hate to say it depends, but it really is when we're with the client, it's not confusing at all. I, I will say we get great feedback from our clients. They usually feel very confident and excited at leaving the meeting. Um, and so that's that's our goal is that there's just, we eliminate a lot of confusion. And while we are steady in the way we move forward, we wanna make sure that they're moving in a direction of confidence and that it's truly their decision um, because everything at the end of the day, it's theirs. They're, they have ownership of it. So we don't want to ever make them feel like they have to market in a certain way. If that's not the way they want to brand, then we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll, we use a lot of resources um, like Canva, for example. And so we'll make whole brand kits for them and give them oh, some ideas. Yes. Yeah. And so we have some, we love that. It's really fun to use, but we also teach them and try and help them say, if you're, if you don't like this, say no. I mean, that's so important because once you get your brand out there, you don't want to look at it all the time and think, oh, somebody else came up with that and I love it. So it's really important that each meeting, we're very honest with one another back and forth um, about why we'd want to do something this way or that way. And, and so the meetings are, um, there's always an agenda ahead of time so people know what we'll talk about. And then if the entrepreneur, they, they usually always have one extra question that's not on the agenda and that's completely fine. So we'll, we just take it meeting by meeting. So it, it depends on if they need more marketing support, if they need more legal support, whatever it is that they need um, really dictates what we do the following meeting. That's so excellent. There's just no reason that we can't all succeed, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so, um, 
Um, I, I wish I had uh, a time to take, I wish I had something set up where I could say questions from the audience, because I'm just, I'm just trying to sit here and think, you know, did we cover everything? And I think that we pretty much did because we got to understand on the who, the why, the what, the how, and how everyone uh, can get involved. Um, so this season it, in the spotlight, we are asking all of our guests that we have on the show to share with us some encouraging words, um, leave with leave with the audience some encouraging words. Um, however you want it, however you want that to be. Okay. Um, I would say that for us, from our organization, being faithful to your purpose is, it's just so imperative in everything that you do. Uh, the name Ripe Lemon Investments um, was batted around a lot. We, we put a lot of thought into it and we came with it because we felt like there are people in life that get labeled a lemon and it's not really correct. It's not always accurate, but for whatever reason, they're not fulfilling the societal purpose that they could be. And I believe, and my team believes that if they were given uh, really good resources and really good support, then all of a sudden they could be ripe. They could be ready for all of these great things. And so they're worthy of investment. And so I feel like while our lives get very busy, we do, you know, we get full of kids and, you know, have a job being faithful to what you feel you're truly passionate about, what you're called to do, I think will, will make whatever your, your endeavors are, whatever your goals are truly successful. Don't spend your time on things that you're not not really passionate about, um, because it, to me, that's just a time suck. And, and it's it's worth investing in yourself. It's worth investing in others um, to make those things ripe and ready. And so I, I just hope people are, are faithful to their purpose. I love that. I love that. I love the whole squeeze the day that you have <laughs> in the background there and just the right, and you're right, because you know, you can grow up and you can be labeled, you know, this, that, or the other, but, you know, but when you pull yourself up by your bootstraps and you build, you start to build your own self-confidence and then you know that you can make it, it's a blessing to be able to have someone that is willing to, you know, invest the time into you as long as you're willing to give back the time into yourself and to squeeze the day and, and, and know that you are a, a ripe lemon. And I love it. Um, I appreciate you. I thank you so much for being on the show. I know the show is going to help so many people out in our audience in North and South Carolina and beyond, because even if they're not in North and South Carolina, they can still, this can still encourage someone to be able to go out and, and say, hey, if they can do it, I can do it too. And that's really my goal. My goal for In the Spotlight is to shine the light on entrepreneurs to shine a light on the nonprofit, the for-profit, to get the words out into people's hands, because I want to be that type of a person that, I, that I'm that i giving everybody the information they need to go do it. You know, like wherever, whatever it is, whoever comes on this show, I want somebody to be able to walk away and say, I learned something new. I learned a new resource. Because I am about putting resources, resources, resources in your hand. So you can connect with the right person to, at the end of the day, to be everything that God called you to be. And that's my goal. That's why I call it in the spotlight, because I'm shining the light on that person, group, wh whoever is on the show, to get that information pushed out into the world so you can be better. And that's my goal. And I thank you for coming on and sharing that with us. And, and I know that someone's going to be better for it. So if you ever want to contact me, Tabitha, within the spotlight, I'm Tabitha, T-A-B-A-T-H-A, spotlight at gmail.com. Or you can give me a call. No one ever calls me, but they can, <laughs> but you can email me again at Tabitha spotlight at gmail.com or call me at 980-907-3136. Um, that's my show for this week. I uh, appreciate you all tuning in. I am every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can uh, reach us at wytv7.org. Go under broadcasters, hit in the spotlight. You'll see a YouTube link. Please like and share our show with um, 
all of your friends, um, all of your families, on all your social media handles so we can get this word and information out. We don't take it lightly that we're here each and every week. We're here because we care and we're dedicated to getting people what they need when they need it and however that is that they need it. Thank you so much again for sharing um, in the spotlight. I'm Tabitha, your host, and I'll see you back here next Thursday at 6 p.m. Take care. Have a great week. Be safe out there, and God bless.